In this video, I'm going to give you the most extensive, the most complete Roblox optimization video that you've probably ever watched. I think that probably exists on YouTube as a whole. We're going to be covering absolutely everything to give you the ultimate best FPS, lowest, lowest input delay, so you have insane fast reaction times, response times in your game. You'll even get better ping. Now, for Habs, drop a like, subscribe, all the good stuff. I've made some simpler videos if this is a little complicated for you, but really, I'm going to make it as simple as possible. Just follow what I'm saying, watch to the end. It won't take more than five minutes of your time. You spend more than that on TikTok, significantly more than that. So starting off just with the mere basics to make sure that you've, you know, won some common ground here in your actual Roblox settings, make sure your maximum frame rate is on the highest. Now, if you are capped and this is limited, don't worry. There's something, there's something called fast lags, which are basically just like your game config, your backend game user settings for Roblox. I'm going to give you the best ones. So if you don't have anything like higher than like, honestly, 240, it's low key an issue. And honestly, 240, you can go higher than that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But for now, now, have it on the highest. Make sure you're on full screen for the lowest input delay. This will give you the closest to a one-to-one -one response time. And yes, playing in any other mode can affect your FPS as well. And graphics mode, I have mine on manual. I just changed this graphics quality option right here. Reduce motion, have it off. But yeah, graphics quality. I have mine on four bars. Now I have a high-end PC. If I wanted to, I could actually probably go up a little higher to like five, six. But for best performance with a bit of a balance, this works for me. But yeah, other than that, the rest is all preference. And now we're gonna get onto the good stuff. All right, listen up, guys. You know how much I've spent on my Roblox account? And I know how much you hate dealing with overpriced game currency and sketchy exchanges. We've all had our fair share of horror stories, but I finally found the site I can trust. It's called Eldorado. Eldorado has completely changed the game for me. Every transaction on here is secure, so there's zero stress about being scammed. Plus, they have something called Eldorado Trade Shield Protection, which means they've got your back every step of the way. I know we all want the best currency rates, and with Eldorado, I get my game currency fast. Like, in just a few minutes fast. They seriously have some of the lowest prices I've seen, and I'm saving a ton compared to other places. And when it comes to in-game cosmetics, same deal. They've got everything you need to deck out your locker. And I'm not the only one talking about this. Check out these Trustpilot reviews. Thousands of gamers, just like me, are giving Eldorado top marks. It's legit. Their support team, online 24-7. If you ever need help, it could be 3 a.m. They're ready to answer any questions, and they've got a money-back guarantee, so it's pretty much risk-free. Either you get your order, or you get your money back. Simple as that. So if you're tired of overpriced game currency and want a trustworthy place to safely exchange in-game cosmetics, check out aldorado.gg with a link in the description. And you can use code FETCH at checkout for an exclusive discount only for you guys. So close your Robux. We're going to start off with our backend settings to bump that FPS up a little bit more. And there's also going to be some other graphical changes that we couldn't change in game, but we can with this. This requires no external softwares. Literally, it'll do everything that any other program would do. You can literally run this directly through Roblox. So you don't need Blockstrap or any of that stuff all you're gonna need are these client app settings now to get them there'll be a link down below you can just go and download them or you can copy them i'll put them on screen so you don't have to go anywhere to download them or whatnot but it's just easier this way the way this works is i split them up so if you play rivals this strips the game a lot more so it's gonna strip the game like almost entirely but it's just enough to show you everything that you need in rivals although it's great in this case for every other game or most other games it strips too much and then you lose textures that you actually need to see so i usually go between the two if I'm playing rivals, I'll use this and anything else, I'll use this right here. But the way we do it is you'll download this right here or you'll copy exactly what I've got. Don't worry, I'm going to show you. You literally right click it, press copy. You want to go to this pathway right here. So wherever your Roblox is installed. So for me, mine's in my D drive. Yours will probably be like most likely in your local C drive. It'll either be right here or just say Roblox or it'll be in your program files. And if not program files, it'll be in program files x86. Once you've located the folder, go into Roblox versions, version right here, client settings, and you want to replace place what already exists. So just literally press paste and replace the file in destination. And now, as I promised, I'll show you exactly what I've got right here. This is it. It's literally that notepad that already existed with just this in it. You can copy it again if you want to, as it is. That is if you don't want to download it. And I'll also, this is for all other games and I'll show you for rivals right here. This is, yeah, it strips so much more as you can see. What this basically is, is just disabling stuff that you don't need for the most part. And if you guys ever want to reset this for whatever reason, you literally won't need to. But what you can do is just literally right click, just press delete right here and restart your game and it'll create a new one by default and it'll just revert everything. Now, the next thing we're going to do is create a system restore point. This just means anything we now do in our Windows settings, computer settings, anything we do to our GPU, CPU, whatever, from this point onwards is able to be reverted if you ever need to. I don't think you'll ever need to, but for whatever reason. Again, you don't have to do this. I just do it to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Just go here, create a system restore point, press create, name it, whatever, press create, and it'll do it for you. It takes like two seconds and it just lets you undo the changes if you ever need to. All right, now what we want to do is download Chris 
lightest tech windows utility what you want to do is go to this github link i'll have it down below don't worry i'm going to run through all of this you want to scroll down to launch command I'm, you know what i'm just going to put this directly i'll put both the links but i'll put this directly in the description you want to copy paste this code you're going to go into your windows powershell run it as administrator here copy and paste this and press run what this is going to do is going to launch this software completely safe again it's open source you can check it all out without actually installing it on your system you don't need it on there forever it just needs to be here for now now what is beautiful about this is it does all the hard work for you yes usually this stuff would take like five ten minutes per thing and it does it in a click of a button now in our case literally all we need to do is just where it says recommended selections just press standard click that and it's gonna as you can see it's gonna tick all these boxes right here and this is all you need press run tweaks and some things will happen on your screen right here it's doing a little disc cleanup but yeah this is just it working it's magic it won't take more than literally a minute maybe two minutes maybe less 30 seconds once it's done its thing it'll just show you exactly everything it's done here it'll say um right here tweaks are finished whoops i accidentally just closed it you can now just you know get on with your day but just because i know people will be in the comments complaining why i haven't explained what any of this is done it does say right here click on this it'll go through it'll tell you exactly what everything does this created a system restore point we did that at the start it's not a problem it deleted temporary files literally you just go like percent 10 percent right here delete these you don't need any of them you've probably seen this before delete your recycling bin it gets rid of some spyware in microsoft which you don't need it does this through the registry editor here it disables things like location tracking bluetooth you don't need these things it sets all your services to manual so you don't have services running in the background here that are being forced as enabled and taking up performance and processes in the background it cleans your hard drive and your memory just creates some space on your system of course if any of these are in like the red zone right here that is going to give you awful performance so yeah you want it kind of like sitting in this range and this is going to help with that and yeah everything you kind of check for yourself again i don't want to bore you here it's completely safe you have a system restore point now performance plan just to show you if you go over to edit power plan right here go to power options you are probably by default on either power saver high performance or balanced um you probably don't have ultimate performance yeah it's basically just a better version of higher performance it gives you literally ultimate performance now to enable that you just press here add and activate ultimate performance power plan and it'll do it for you if you then go back into here you may have to reload it go to power options again you'll have this option just enable it now going over to the config tab if you go over to system properties right here go to advanced go to performance go to adjust for best performance like this and i would always re-enable show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges on screen fonts to me actually i this isn't a make or break for me but some people just can't live without it so try it with try it without it just literally again makes a screen font so the fonts on screen so it's okay the cancel the apply just looks a little jagged without it i i again better performance without but it's not gonna make much of a difference the main thing is just getting rid of everything else let's apply press okay go into your windows settings go into personalization make sure dynamic lighting's turned off theme select a default windows theme go over to colors turn off transparency effects accent color have it on manual and select just any of these right here turn off these two you don't want any accent color I completely forgot if I mentioned this. Dynamic lighting, turn that off. Go over to gaming, game bar, turn that off. Graphics, optimize for Windows game on. Advanced graphics settings, hardware installation, GPU scheduling, turn that on. If you scroll down here and you press add desktop application, you want to go find Roblox. Maybe actually you got it from the Microsoft store. In that case, you can just add it here. It'll just come up. If not, you want to go back to wherever Roblox is installed. For me, it is here. Roblox versions, boom. And then it's Roblox player beta.exe. It's going to add as Roblox game client. You want to change GPU preference to high performance and make sure this is enabled going back to gaming game mode turn that on and then go down to windows updates and pause updates for five weeks right here update it and then just pause them for five weeks it means if a new update comes out and it's a bit sketchy you can manually update it later on rather than it automatically updates and now you're on a unstable version of windows and actually back in this software right here the chris titus utility if you go to updates it gives you a few options right here i always do the middle option just security settings so just click this and it'll pretty much do that same thing just a little bit more extensive and we're done there we can exit out of chris titus utility and actually in my browser right here everyone needs to do this go in your browser go down to system and maybe under an advanced tab i don't know maybe it would say graphics in your browser settings you want to find use graphics acceleration when available turn it off and in apps like discord you know i'll quickly show you how to do it and even steam in your settings in this case advanced again hardware acceleration turn that off it's gonna use more of your gpu to try and push these applications and these are background applications we don't want them doing the most we want them having actually the least priority or ideally don't run them at all while you're playing and it'll give you even better frames but if you have to i assume a lot of people want to call their friends on here and speaking of applications the next thing we're going to need is auto runs right here now you've probably heard people talk about task manager you go in here startup apps disable what you don't need or even in your windows settings right here disable what you don't need now you can disable stuff then and there's some secret stuff in the background that just isn't showing for some reason windows hides a few things so yeah auto runs.exe house with this again i'll put down the link in the description if you want to run it as an administrator it looks like this a bit a bit confusing you want to go to log on right here and disable anything you
you definitely don't need. Now, if something you're a bit confused about, do not disable it. It will do more harm than good. But for me, like things like Riot Vanguard, I don't need that. For most of you, you don't need your um, keyboard software or, for example, your mouse software running. You don't need it running for your peripherals to work. So you can disable those as well. Just unticker them. Things like Badline Client, Discord, Brave, your browser doesn't need to run in the background privately when you open your system. Spotify, of course, just, yeah, disable whatever you don't need here. Just untick them. But again, don't know, keep it on. For example, I know I need the GoXLR app for my mic, but I don't know if I need the control panel. But to be safe, I keep it there. Once you're done with this, you don't have to press save or anything. Just exit. And if you're, gonna, if you're now going to your task manager, it's going to reflect. So like, for example, you disabled WhatsApp or Spotify. You will now see those things are disabled. And you'll also see that some of the things you just, you just disabled don't show in here at all, which is insane and exactly why I just put you on there. Now, the next software we're going to be using. These are all free, by the way, and none of them are paid promotions. None of the ads. I use these every single day on everything. You know, there's no affiliate links, nothing. This is called Revo Uninstaller. Now we're going to be deleting some applications that we just don't need. And good thing about Revo Uninstaller, if you're going to install apps on your settings right here, you can see these. this is everything I've got installed. Apparently. Now, yeah, there's some things that are installed and they just don't show here. Again, Windows are gatekeeping. So Revo Uninstaller, not only is it going to show us some things that we just can't see there, similar to auto runs, it's also going to let us actually delete them. Yeah, when you install things through Windows or the Windows settings option, or even just sometimes in the application, you can go to like the launcher and uninstall the game, for example. In your registry editor, which is, we've, we've already edited some stuff in there today through the Chris Tires tool. There are like kind of temporary files or files that just get, they get kept on your PC for some reason, even though you don't have the application to support them anymore. And we don't want this. Maybe even some cases, there's services that are running. But you know, to have a bulletproof system here, we want to get rid of them. So yeah, in here, it just lets you install things properly. Uh, you can even install some of these Windows apps that, again, Windows usually gatekeeps, especially on Windows 11. They don't let you get rid of them. Like, you don't need Xbox Identity Provider if you don't use any of the Xbox stuff. Snipping tool, if you don't screenshot things, you don't need this. Going back, though, to uninstall that, let's not worry about the Windows ones right now. Just get rid of the silly things you, you've just been hoarding on your PC. Now, this could be old games you don't use, like Skate. I don't play that. I can install it. Or Counter-Strike. I don't use that. I can uninstall it. Let me show you, actually. Right here, don't make a system restore point. For most of these, you don't need that. We also did make one at the start. Let's continue. You. It will now usually open the application, the original application you have it installed to. So for me, I downloaded it initially from Steam. I'm going to press uninstall. Steam will try its best to uninstall it. But then what this will do is it will scan. So you can do moderate and it's going to scan to see if there's any leftover files anywhere. In some cases, there won't be. But in this case, right here, leftover registry items. Insane. Like, why do we need these things if I don't have the application? Well, we don't. So you press select all, press next. And now it's going to get rid of all of them. Press select all, finish. Yes, there we go. That's how we accurately uninstall install things. I bet you did not know that. And now the next application we're going to be using is actually something from Windows, Microsoft. Yeah, it, you have to go and download it, Um, but it's by Microsoft. It's called Safety Scanner. Again, a lot of people don't know about this, but you open it right here. Very simple. Um, Have it on full scan. It's going to take a bit of a while. I won't be able to complete it on this video. I've already did it myself recently. I do this very routinely, but it's going to scan your PC for viruses, spyware, and something called potentially unwanted programs or unwanted software. In short, these are abbreviated to PUPs. What they do is they actually use up bandwidth. Yes, bandwidth. They take up memory and use up bandwidth on your PC, which actually can affect your ping and of course FPS in terms of like memories being used. Maybe you have some kind of spyware that's running as a service and using processes. And yeah, it's not good. And you'll also have some effective files right here from things you've downloaded over the past. Honestly, if you've never ran this, it, this will take a while. For me, it usually takes about 20 minutes, but you can leave it running in the background and it'll do its thing. It just kind of completes itself, gets rid of what you don't need and does an amazing job. You'll be surprised. Actually, after you've run this comment down below and let me know what you've got i usually like if i run this every other week i'll probably get like 10 things every time but my first time i had like 60 infected files and this really saved my guts all right and last but not least the final thing again all of these are free no affiliate no code you don't need to pay for anything cc cleaner slept on completely slept on i again i recommend all these softwares i've shown you today uh, at least cc cleaner and the last microsoft security scanner run these routinely every month at least but what this is going to do, it's going to do a health check of your PC. You digit it again, it's free. Press scan PC. In my cave Brave's open. Um, I don't want to close it because I'm using it. But for you, yeah, close everything else. Put me on your phone or just actually don't worry about it. Revisit later if you don't want to, you know, go off the video. It's going to delete all your temporary files. Or you can just go into custom clean and it's going to tell you basically exactly where you're going wrong. It'll tell you what cookies you have that are taking up memory and, 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 and storage on your system. Your browsing history It's going to tell you your temporary files. Or if you go to custom clean, you can actually tailor this right here. So this is exactly what I have. I recommend copying this directly, like copying my settings here, because you can 
tailor it and like delete certain things and have it scan for other things. And this is best for me because what this means is it doesn't get rid of things like bookmarks or your internet cache or your saved form for information or passwords, which, you know, it's kind of annoying when you have to re-log into everything. So copy this here, copy these, then you can just press analyze. Tell you, okay, cool. We can delete some stuff. We can delete two gigabytes of temp files and things in your recycling bin and things in your Brave browser. Just press run cleaner, continue. In this case, I'm going to just no because I want, again, I want my Brave open. And boom, clean and complete. It's that simple. Now, they also have some cool things like performance optimizer, driver updaters. Again, I'd recommend everyone updates their drivers. You can do this manually. You don't need to use this, but I actually do. Like, I, I use all of this. I update my softwares through here. I clean up my registry through here, but I do think that actually may cost some money. I'm not too sure. And yeah, that is pretty much everything. I know I said last but not least, but why I'm here, I wasn't going to show this in this video. If you guys have NVIDIA control panel and if you have AMD, don't worry. You can mirror these. These are the best NVIDIA settings as well. The best NVIDIA 3D settings for Roblox. I'm going to make a full video on this, but if you want to just copy, go for it. Take my word for it. These are insane. Obviously, make sure in your preference emphasizing right here, you have on performance. That's the easiest like kind of one stop solution kind of. But if you want to tweak them a bit more and go a bit more in depth, if you want to take the time, just copy these. This is the most optimized. This is if you're lazy right here.